Hey guys, Dan here with Battlefield Curator. And I know some of you guys might not be in the best places to look for military surplus firearms or look for military surplus collectibles. Your town or city might just not have the shops that you are looking for. Or maybe you want to broaden your outreach to find things, right? Well, that's where shopping online comes into play. Over the years, I've, I've accumulated a list of about 25 to 30 places for uh, looking for on, uh, collectible firearms online. Now, these uh, online shops, these are shops. I didn't include auction sites like Gunbroker. I didn't include uh, any uh, some of the parts websites that also offer parts and, and some firearms. But uh, so these would be uh, like some of your your main websites that you would go to if you're just looking for a, a shop, a gun shop online. So uh, the first big one that a lot of people go to and they might have one in their town or city is Cabela's. Now Cabela's has a vintage uh, gun library. Not all Cabela's stores have you know vintage firearms but if you go uh, google search uh, cabela's vintage firearms you will come up with a, a category list uh, a catalog list of a whole bunch of vintage used firearms from all around their stores so you can actually go in there it's really cool you can go and search for what you're looking for let's say maybe you can filter your results by like 30 odd six it's a pretty big catalog to search through for all kinds of stuff and and it also gives you a good price of what, you know, a good value estimate of what they're going for. And you can compare that to other websites. So maybe if you find another website with a cheaper price for the same firearm or the same collectible, then yeah, you know, that might be something you would pick up from the other place. So the thing I like about Cabela's is that search function on their online catalog and the, uh, the very uh, diverse amount of um, collectible guns in their online catalog. All right, so number two, I'm sure you've heard of them, and they are just killing it in the collectible firearms and surplus firearms business. That is classic firearms. Now, why is classic firearms so unique? Um, I think just their presentation on their website is, is, is great. You know, the experience that you get from just clicking a few buttons and then having that uh, collectible gun shipped to, that surplus gun shipped to, you know, your, um, your local FFL dealer. I mean, it's pretty fast, it's pretty simple. You sign up. Now, now what's the hook, line, and sinker is that they get you that first time and then they get you with the email marketing or they get you uh, in the beginning when you first go to the website, they get you with the email marketing. Not only email marketing is huge, but this company also um, uses YouTube as a good strategy. Um, they've used, they'll make YouTube videos about current batches of surplus imports and they'll make a pretty good video. They'll do some other things. They might do a range test on some of them, but they'll do like a presentation. So they really give the customer a good idea of what they are going to get. And it's very enticing when you watch these videos uh, to, to, to purchase something, right? So their marketing is on point. And man, they do a good job. And man, they really get you sucked into their business model. So another one that uh, is pretty popular uh, they do have some uh, surplus firearms and they get import batches as well. That is Bud's Gun Shop. Uh, they're out of Tennessee and yeah, they have a pretty good uh, reputation within the uh, collecting community with the surplus firearm community. So uh, Bud's Gun Shop. Okay, so this might be a new one getting into some of the surplus stuff is uh, Palmetto State Armory. Uh, they're a pretty new gun shop. They started off manufacturing AR-15s for the, uh, you know, for, for, the, for the, the regular Joe, right? For everyday Bob. And they moved on from there. They got into different niches. They've expanded their stores around South Carolina, and they've really become a popular name around the U.S. So pa Palmetto State Armory, they've, got, they've had a few batches of uh, SKSs and Carcanos over the last few years and they've been pretty well known for uh, their reputation and another thing is uh, they're, they're they have a lineup of refurbished uh, Romanian AKs and Russian AKs and 
those, <clears throat> you know, uh, not true, um, I wouldn't say they're true two spec rebuilt AKs. Now, the thing with their AKs is that, yeah, they do, they do have their own little twist to it, so it's not historically correct. But they are functioning and they have a really good warranty. And that's another thing, they have lifetime warranties on all their firearms. So you can, uh, you can, you can, you know, uh, go back in there and say, hey, you know, this has caused me issues. I've only shot a hundred rounds through it and it's caused me issues and you know, I need you to fix it. So they, you know, they'll, they'll do something about it. When we talk about some of these bigger companies online, these bigger online shops have pretty much made a name for themselves in the collecting community and the surplus community. You got to think about Midway USA. Uh, last year, um, when they had a huge batch of M1 carbines, they marketed that thing, and they pretty much, they pretty much uh, got this huge batch from Italy, and just their email marketing was on point, and they sold out within like a few days, I think, um, and they were selling at really big prices. It caused everyone else to raise every other, uh, you know, um, every other online store that had these uh surplus m1 carbines they caused them to raise their prices because they saw what midway usa did but midway usa has been around for a while uh, so that was pretty interesting that they had those m1 carbines uh, from from italy now another one we talk about is brownells brownells yeah, man they've been around for a minute and yeah they've made quite the reputation uh for themselves uh they do have some surplus uh here and there now um but man they're just uh, they got they got everything if you go to their website you can pick out all kinds of stuff so uh check out brown ales all right so this one is pretty big in the ak community and we're going to talk about atlantic firearms man they've got parts kits and they've got you know that's all kinds of surplus weapons that come in and uh they've got some unique things as well um but when you think about it uh, they are uh, pretty well known and pretty reputable and their prices are pretty fair. So Atlantic Firearms. All right, a little known, but very reputable online uh, website that sells just surplus and just collectible uh, firearms here is Empire Arms. Man, they've been around since the 90s. You go to the website, it's, it's old looking, but it's fun. I mean, it's simple, it's fun. You go on their website, and you scroll through a small catalog and man, the prices are very fair. Uh, sometimes a little cheaper than what you would expect. Uh, if you're looking for something, then you might as well check out Empire Arms every so often. And I think they might have something that you might want. Now, another one you can check out here is oldguns.net. They pretty much are kind of like that mail-in order type catalog type um, website, another older style website uh military antiques and uh, collectibles you can check out oldguns.net if you wanted to check out another website with a lot of antiques you're going to look at international military antiques they've been around for a while uh, i think they had some kind of tv show going on for a little bit and they've uh they've supplied weapons for big popular movies They've, um, they've got uh, pretty good antiques on their website. Man, they have some really juicy stuff on there. They've, they give you a lot of pictures. They give you a lot of information. They're uh, very well known uh, for having a huge batch of Martini Henrys. And I think they might still have some, but they got these from a, uh, a big palace somewhere out in the uh, other side of the world. So um, definitely check out inter international military antiques, not just firearms, but other military collectibles as well. Um, very reputable, but you are going to pay a premium for some of these because they are well valued. All right. Another small business that, uh, really gets a lot of traction here is the Mosin crate. They're, uh, pretty much you, you go on their website and he puts out a, he puts out information about a batch release. So he'll have like maybe a batch of, you know, some surplus pistols. You'll have like maybe 20 of them and he'll have them all graded and priced. And, but he won't let, he won't let anybody buy until uh, a certain date and time. So, uh, so yeah, it'd be like a, an email uh, type deal where you'll email him and, and you pick out what you want and hopefully it's still available when he releases it. So what I've seen is uh, 
is a lot of times these uh, pistols or whatever the batches are that he releases will get sold out in a matter of a day. So very popular, but small guy, um, does a lot of business. He's been around for a while too. All right, moving on, J&G Sales, a huge popular website out of Arizona. They've got a pretty decent list of uh, military surplus firearms. And, you know, they've, they've got a pretty good stuff. I mean, they've got batches that come in from overseas. They've got, you know, individual pieces. So, you know, if you're looking for something, you can check out J&G Sales. They used to be reasonably priced, um, but they've come up, you know, with the market conditions. Uh, they've come up in their in their pricing strategy but overall if you're looking for stuff you know check out jng sales all right a big website in the collecting space is collector firearms i mean you type in collectible firearms and bam you got collector firearms uh, they've got a pretty big list a pretty big catalog of uh, anything from military collectible firearms to surplus items um, and you can go on their website and they've got a lot of stuff uh, very high dollar items as well. So they've got like extremely rare type uh, type firearms in there as well. Um, and you know, you're gonna pay a premium for them, but they do have them. So if you're looking for something that's very unique, very collectible, you know, you can check out Collector Firearms. Now also to go along with Collector Firearms is Simpson LTD. Simpson LTD is pretty similar to Collector Firearms. Got a lot of unique things, uh, high dollar items. Uh, very, very, um, very well laid out website you know uh, you know both collector firearms and simpson ltd give you a decent amount of pictures and description um, so you can check out those websites all right another website here that will probably have some surplus is aim surplus um, you could also check out um, sportsman's warehouse uh, copper customs which might have some things here or there uh, copper customs is actually done by um, uh, another youtuber uh, so you know every so often he might get have some some surplus on there dk firearms pretty uh popular um with within a certain niches now check out royal tiger imports if you're looking for anything from the ethiopian batch uh, that came in uh, royal tiger imports had got all these different types of weapons and all these different rifles um, so what you get is pretty much a uh, historical value of uh, rifles that were not changed over time. They were stored in a warehouse in Ethiopia, uh, and they, they, you know, uh, according to sources, the prince at the time had bought up a lot of surplus items and stored them in these warehouses uh, just around, you know, even before World War II and during World War II and after World War II. And a lot of these firearms have just been sitting there collecting dust and getting peed on by goats. And, you know, if you want that kind of history, you know, um, you could go check out their website. So the condition of these are probably not the best, but there's some of these rifles that have just not been seen for a very long time and they're really rare. Uh, so, you know, they are kind of pricey when it comes to condition and value uh, of some of these rifles. They do also offer refurbished rifles so if you wanted an m1 carbine that has been refurbished you can you know you can get one from them and it'd be the same thing from the ethiopian batch but just refurbished another small website here uh, bull moose guns they might have some things here or there some good surplus or uh, military collectible firearms center fire systems man they've got a lot of stuff on their website uh, center fire systems uh they've got anything from barreled actions of different types of military old military rifles to you know some uh surplus pistols surplus uh rifles i think right now they have some mosin m28s that uh i you know it was like hmm, tempting so yeah center fire systems you gotta keep checking their website they always get some cool stuff in uh, you never know they they do a lot of they get a lot of project rifle type stuff in too so yeah. All right, this next one is kind of sketchy according to people that write some online reviews. But I've known a few collectors that purchase from this website. Uh, and, and essentially it's not even a purchase from the website. It's a mail-in order. Uh, that's gonna be Hunter's Lodge. And, and so like the few people that I knew ordered from them didn't have a problem. Uh, they expected what they got. Now the Hunter's Lodge does have very cheap military surplus 
Um, but the, the thing is that you mail in order what you want and um, it might take a few months to get your item. And when you get it, it's not in the best condition, but you are paying a very cheap price. So the prices are reasonable, very reasonable for what you get. Cause you, you know, it's like, Hey, if you're expecting a pretty beat up number one, Mark three, you're going to get a pretty beat up number one, Mark three, but you're going to get it at a very cheap value compared to other places that might have something similar. So, so yeah, uh, Hunter's Lodge, uh, just takes a while to get in your collectibles. So another gun shop here is uh, D4 Guns. Uh, they got some pretty cool pictures and pretty interesting catalog selection on their website. Um, you got Hyatt Gun Shop. Uh, you go on their website. They've also got, they're pretty popular in uh, North Carolina. Horse Soldier, they specialize in antique firearms, a lot of Wild West stuff, a lot of uh, you know older antique firearms. You got Northeastern Firearms. I've, I go on their website every so often and see what they got. Heritage Guild, um, Heritage Guild, I was just looking online for surplus firearms uh, and military collectible firearms. And man, I found, uh, I'm glad I found Heritage um, Guns because, uh, you know, they had something I really wanted. So yeah, I ended up ordering it from them. It was a pretty simple process. I just kind of called in or I ordered it and then I called in just to verify some stuff. And then they called me back for some things to verify, but you know, uh, Heritage Firearms are out of there in uh, Pennsylvania and New Jersey area. Um, they've got like three locations up there, stores, like actual physical stores, but you can order from their online uh, used gun selection. Another website I check pretty often that's kind of like a local place is Sooner State Pond. They're out of Oklahoma City. They keep their online catalog updated and it looks really good. They've got some photos um, of these of these rifles, these surplus rifles and pistols that they get on there. Uh, and then they're a pawn shop, so they probably take in all these unique things every so often. So if you're looking for something, you know, check them out. Well, that's it for my list. Oh man, I've got these in a list, and I will check these every so often just to see if I if I'm if I find anything I'm interested in. You know, um, it's it's really cool just to have a big list and especially for if you're new and you're just starting out, you can take all these websites, set up some bookmarks on your internet browser and check them all the time and then cross-reference each of them. So like, let's say if Sooner State Pond has a Mosin that you want, but let's say uh, D4 Guns has it for cheaper, uh, has some, you know, a, a similar Mosin for cheaper, then you can say, oh, okay, well, now I know where to get it from. And I just, you know, I, you know, I could get it for, for cheaper. Like if you check Cabela's and they have Mosin's and you're like, that's outrageous. I don't want to pay $950 for a Mosin M9130, but D4 guns has one for 400, 500. And then you're like, Hey, yeah, that's, that's not too bad at all. I'll pick it up from there. You know, let me know in the comments, if you've got any, uh, online shops that you frequent, uh, frequently check because uh, this is, you know, we're, we're trying to, you know, be collectors here and share information. I've shared a whole bunch of websites that I go to with you guys. So if you got anything that I didn't put on this list, let me know in the comments section where you guys shop. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, um, you know, I'd really like it if you pulverize that like button and uh, definitely subscribe for the algorithms uh, and share this video with those uh, collector friends of yours that also might be looking for some places to check out and uh, you know don't forget to learn history and curate history make it a great day